Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Getting to Know Your Center Owners. And we are with Sylvia today in Castro Valley. She is amazing. I hope she tells you a little bit about who she is. And, um, and without further ado, I'm just going to let her tell you who she is. Thanks, Sylvia, for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Gail. I'm so, so happy to be here. So grateful for you. Um, so my name is Sylvia Martinez. I am the center owner in uh, Castro Valley, California. The name of my center is the Harmonic Wellness. And I've been asking the universe for a very long time, you know, how, how may I serve? I, I'm a, a natural born healer. I've just always wanted to help people since I was a little girl. You know, I would always just be that person that just always um, in my heart, in my passion, and when I was happiest was helping people. So I did a lot of work on myself, you know, a lot of meditations, a lot of um, developing my intuitive abilities and healing abilities. I even did a reconnective healing. I you know, got certified by Dr. Eric Pearl. But in everything, I always feel like there's just more, you know, so I kept asking, like, I work for God. Like, God, let me, let me know, like, just have it land. And one day I was watching a Regina Meredith's Gaia interview with Gail Lynn, her first, I believe it was her first. And I mean, Gail started talking and I was like, I have to have an egg. Like, that's it. It was like, really, it was so honed in that I, I, I heard all the chatter around me. of like, you can't buy an egg and that's not possible. And I was like, I don't care. No, no, no. <laughs> And I'd never been in an egg and I wasn't going to go to an egg. I just knew it was just in my soul that that's what I was going to do. And, you know, so that was probably in December by the next May, I had an egg. It was delivered. And, uh, it was so crazy when you called me up because, you know, we didn't know each other. And yeah, you saw the Regina Meredith interview that was on her website and I said, well, don't you want to come try it? You're like, nope, I don't need to. I know the egg needs to be here to heal the land. And I was like, what? He's like, who is this lady? This is super cool. Yeah. Yeah. And I was so grateful because you were so open. You were like, yeah, we can make it work. And I just felt like, oh my gosh, she's so down to earth. She is so kind. She is just like amazing. And when you came to train, I was like, she's coming to train. <laughs> I was a little starstruck, but once you came and I got to, I was just like, wow, I, I've known you. Like, I just feel like I know you. Um, I had so much fun with you and I felt like you were just another soul sister for me. And it, I felt so connected to you. And I felt so sad when I left because we had such great conversations during our training. It was so amazing. And you taught me a lot. So I am just so grateful for you to be in the family and to be a center owner. I just, you, you have no idea. You have no idea. So thank you. I, I'm grateful. Yeah. It was, it was such an experience. I mean, I think all of this has been huge soul growth. I mean, for me, I came from a background of 25 years in healthcare. I managed a database for a huge HMO in Northern California. And I was a um, group leader, IT project management, you know, so very analytical. And even though I enjoyed it, I, there was just such an emptiness about it. It was like, no, I'm not, I'm not meant to be doing this the rest of my life. I, I need to go. And it was seamless how that transition kind of happened. It was like the minute I said, yes, the universe was like, okay, we're going to take care of this. And, and I surrendered because I was like, this is what I, I, I have to do. This is what I, I, I was born to do to, to assist. Um, so yeah. So very cool. Different. So cool. Well, I know you have a ton of stories. Do you have some that come to mind that you want to share? Um, some of your really fun stories about clients? Yes, I have, I have lots of them. So I'll see. Um, so one of them is my favorite because she has brought in so many clients. And the reason why is because she's a very sensitive person, what we would call an empath, a sensitive soul. But she didn't know what that meant. You know, a lot of people have abilities that they don't understand nobody's ever told them so she would take on everybody's energy and she was a big healer as well you know not knowing she would want to take care of people and so there there was just a lot of anxiety she couldn't sleep for years she would sleep like a few hours here and there and she has her own business so her partners would they would see the effects of this and um i got her in on a 31st of december right before the shutdown of you know the world and 
she did three sessions because I told you, you know, really like a great foundation just to start with three, do more. I, it's always great to do more after the first session and she's claustrophobic too. So she was like, don't close the egg. And I said, no, no, no. I, I'm going to just close it to as wherever you want. And if whenever you need to get out and you can press the button, I'll come get you. It's no pressure. Like the healing will take place. So after her first session, she could not believe it. Like all her sensitivities almost opened up a little more, but with more awareness and she was able to sleep. And the anxiety was like pretty much almost gone. Like she felt like a different person. Her son noticed it, her coworkers, her friends, and people would ask her, what did you do? Like, what, <laughs> what did you go? So she'd be like, oh, you gotta go see Sylvia. Um, so that was just amazing. Cause after three sessions, I mean, she, her sleep is back to normal. She sleeps eight hours. She said, this is unheard of, like unreal. I, I just, there's no explanation that she could, you know, kind mm -hmm. of grab on. So she's always my favorite to talk about. And thank you for honoring her claustrophobia because I do have a lot of people with claustrophobia that come in and I, I feel like it's an emotional trauma. So a lot of times, you know, we do cover this in the training, but you know, you close the door, but not all the way. And then after 15 or so minutes, you can go back in and ask them, Hey, how do you feel? And I found that they're like, you know what? I'm fine. You can close the door. It's, it's totally feels safe in there. And then of course you said, um, they can push the button. There is a doorbell in the chair pocket so people could reach us, you know, on the outside of the egg if they need to. So yeah, thanks for honoring that. That's so amazing. Yeah. Can you imagine like- yeah, after her third one, like, Go ahead. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I said after, after the third one, she was like, oh, you can close it more, you know? So she was, she felt much safer. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, part of it is, part of the reason why I wanted to do these interviews is so that when people walk into your um, location, they're feeling safe. They already know you and they don't, and there's not that um, anticipation of who am I going to meet? And, you know, so they're seeing you now. And so that, that kind of helps the um, safety factor, if you will. Yeah, I agree. Because I feel the same too. You know, when you go to a new place, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I don't know right. what's going to happen. <laughs> Who is so, this yeah. person? You know, can I feel safe and talk to them? And, you know, what, who are they? And will they understand me? And so, yeah, I mean, you're such a beautiful soul. I can't imagine anybody, you know, meeting you anyway and not knowing you and not feeling safe. So yes, great. Thank you. Yeah, so that was a great one. Um, another one that always comes to mind is um, a young woman who had um, nerve damage from childbirth. Um, and it had been probably almost two years and the doctors had told her, there's nothing we can do. Like, there's just, it's there, it's nerve damage and, and you're just gonna probably have to learn to live with it. So she brought in her little guy and he wouldn't go in the egg. And I told her, it's, it's okay. Like we left the door open and he walked around in the center. And, you know, he would look at the lives. And, and so they only lasted about, I would say, 25 minutes. But the next, well, that day when they left, there was a horrible spell, like total detox in the room. I was like, well, I'm going to have to air this out. This phrase not, you know. So I knew something had happened. And then she called me the next day and said, I cannot believe it. The, the pain is gone. It is gone. She goes, they healed me. <laughs> and I was so happy for her because this was such a big deal. It really affected her life, obviously. I mean, to have that pain day in, day out. And then her little guy, he slept the whole night, like slept like nine hours or just a huge amount. And he had pooped at night and didn't wake them up. But the smell in the room, she says, was just atrocious. She said she had to bathe them, like spray the room, air it out. And then he was running around like with so much energy. So obviously he had some detoxing to do as well. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, that was the same smell that I had in the room. And the egg does it, isn't contained on just inside. You know, when um, I tell center owners, when you're around the egg all the time, you're detoxing all the time. You have to make sure that you're replenishing your minerals. You're, you know, you're drinking enough water. Um, but you don't have to be in the egg to experience it. I've had um, <clears throat> a dad who was sitting in the room. He was an engineer. And when I walked in the room, I smelled heavy metals. And I knew it was from him and not the kid in the egg. Um, yes. Yeah, so it was so crazy. That's so cool. But I always tell parents, be prepared for a big poop. <laughs> yeah, 
That's a good one. That's a good one to tell people. Yeah, yeah, because right. it was. So cute. And similarly, you have had clients who brought in their, like their parents, their, their father had Parkinson's. And so the wife was here and she had a healing. She fell asleep. And then the daughter was kind of, you know, she was kind of whispering to me. And then the next day she calls me, she goes, oh, I, I think I got a healing too. She goes, and I said, drink a lot of water because she could feel it. You know, she's sensitive too. And I said, just drink a lot of water. You guys all got a healing because you were in the room with us. Right, so. right. So, so cool. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. And then my other favorite story is a young gentleman who suffered from a gastrointestinal reflux disease for about five years. He had a rash on his belly abdomen and then he also had severe anxiety which one would trigger the other you know if he started to get a, the gastro then the anxiety would come in he'd have to leave like it really affected his life and um I told him you probably need to do like 10 sessions like you know this is not going to be and, and I, I asked him I said you got to be committed to changing your diet as well and but he was desperate because he tried the conventional and the side effects are just horrendous you know constipation and and it really didn't fix anything so so he was very good. He came in, did the ten sessions, was able to go on a cruise after the rash was gone. The anxiety was probably 95% gone. And so was the acid reflux. Wow. He was full because it was, it was like a total reboot of, of him. And even his friends as well, they noticed, they're like, wow, you're, you're like happier here, <laughs> you know? And, and he just, he believed he was, he was ready. He was ready to, to have that healing. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is yeah. so amazing. So I didn't get, I don't get to hear these stories from you guys until I interview you. So it's really fun for me to hear too. I yeah. just, I can't believe it. I mean, I can't believe um, the, the stories that I hear. It's so amazing. And yes, I tell people three to 10 sessions, depending on what you have going on and at least give it three sessions. Um, you're not going to reboot an entire nervous system and release a trauma from 40 years in 50, 50 minutes. So you yeah. want to reset the nervous system, let it come, you know, integrate, and then, you know, reboot it again, let it integrate, reboot it again. And eventually your nervous system will create that new normal that is a healthier way of living and not the normal of your disease or your symptoms or whatever. So, yeah, yeah, totally agree. Yeah, it's, it's so been, and I see it, you know, the people who do take, make the commitment to come in for more sessions. I mean, you see it in their lives and their health. It's incredible. Um, I had another woman who was um, leaving. She left a 50 year uh, dysfunctional marriage. Uh, so a lot of trauma. And the first session she had was so incredible because it was like, wow, are, are, you, are you like intuitive or psychic? And she was, oh no, I'm just, you know, normal person. She said she was lifted up in a white light and it was just filled her whole being. And she felt a peace like she'd never felt ever in her life. Okay. And it was like, wow, that was pretty incredible. Like, you know, and she had, she had probably about nine sessions as well. And one of the sessions she actually brought in her little dog because he had uh, PTSD from fireworks. Oh, he, he had been rescued by her and the person who had him before used to leave him outside. So he was very, you know, fireworks were just really traumatizing to him. And every year it was the same thing. So she asked and I said, yeah, bring him in. And he was a small dog, mm -hmm. a little multi-poodle. So she had him on her lap. And he fell asleep right away. She said she was kind of holding him and she could feel like his, he was twitching. Like his little legs would like twitch, like little electrical stuff was happening, but she just kind of like let him. And he fell asleep, did the whole session. We came out, he was like a different person, little dog. He was like shaking, wagging his tail, like normal. And the next year when the fireworks came back, he was fine. Wow. Like, he, and, like she would play classical music for him, maybe to remind him of the A. And he'd be like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Nothing to see here. <laughs> well, I, I put my horse in there with her picture, you know, because we do the distance healing sessions. And um, I have found that she, her nervous system, you know, a horse, if people don't know horses, they're fight or flight animals. So, you know, a bag flies by and they think it's going to kill them. A fly lands on them and they can feel it. You know, they're always reactive. And so my horse, you know, people will drop stuff and she's like, well, all right, whatever. Um, so I feel like it's really helped her nervous system to come into balance. Yes. And so, yeah, it's so amazing. And animals only know unconditional love and they heal yeah. so fast, just like little kids. 
Yeah, yeah, they do. You can totally see that. It's amazing. And yeah. then one last one is just because it's so cool. I'd never heard of this before. I had a young adult also call and say, can you help me, please? Uh, I've been diagnosed with depersonalization disorder. And I didn't even look it up because I'm very intuitive. I can, I can, and that's the other gift that you'll get when you come see me. Um, I do get messages. I get colors. I get, um, you know, messages about your next steps. So if people are open to them, I always say, you know, do, would you like to know more? And I, I can give information. And a lot of times it's just a validation, like a spiritual hello, like I'm seeing you in spirit, not the, not the personality, not the body. And it's, it's awesome. It's awesome for me to be able to deliver that. So when, when he called me, I just looked at him intuitively and I saw that he was not in his body. You know, he was floating above his body. And so when he came in, I said, I, I kind of see, I don't really need to know much about it. But explain to me what you're experiencing. And he says, well, I'm just going through life and I'm not really living life. He goes, I even look at my hand and I touch it, but it's like, I'm not really here. And I said, okay, well, you know, you do three sessions and, and, you know, and after the first one, he came out and I said, do you feel heavy? And he said, yeah, I do. And he started, got up to walk and he said, oh my goodness, my head feels like it weighs 30 pounds. And I said, well, welcome back to your body. <laughs> <laughs> and the anxiety that, you know, it was like, and his girlfriend was in the room and she also got a healing because she had severe anxiety as well. So it was just awesome. It was like, wow, you know, you don't have to believe in it. You just have to like want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because I was hoping you would mention the gifts that you have. You are so amazing. And um, yeah, people will get much more, you know, because they're coming to see you. And um, I know that they're going to get everything that they need you don't always get what you want you get what you need and yes. and so much more when they come to see you so um how would people find you so my website is uh harmonicwellness.net and um you can phone definitely number. also call me yeah phone number uh, a 510 Ooh, i know that's a good <laughs> that's the it's hardest the question i'm asking <laughs> i know right you know, I don't call my number enough. Right. Well, that's okay. They can find it on the website. Yes. Oh, oh it's right here. It's right here. Oh, yay. 510-274-5334. Cool. <laughs> well, oh my gosh, Sylvia, thank you so much for your time and for just being part of this family. I am so grateful for the egg family and, and everything the eggs do and to help people. And uh, I just thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. The feeling is mutual.